Hello guys, welcome back to Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to discuss the some of the basics and important rules for the construction of the slab. And we have to take care of all of these basic rules. I will explain each of these rules with the help of an examples and pictures so it will be more easy to understand. So, starting from the first important and basic rule is that the minimum thickness of your slab should be should be 125 mm or 5 inches so it means if i want to design slab so if this is my slab and i want to design it so the minimum thickness of this slab should be equal to 125 mm or 5 inches so if this is the thickness so it should be equal to the 125 mm millimeter or 5 inches this is the minimum thickness of your slab. You should not take the minimum, uh, you should not take the thickness of the slab less than 125 millimeter or 5 inches. For example, you cannot design your slab with 4 inches slab thickness. It's not possible. So the first basic rule is to take the minimum thickness of the slab is 125 mm or 5 inches. Coming to the second rule, for the construction of the slab that the concrete cover for slab is 25 millimeter or 1 inches so what this means if this is my slab cross section so and i provide the steel reinforcement here so the concrete cover this is the concrete cover the distance between the steel bar and the outside of the concrete so this is concrete cover and the concrete cover for the slab should be equal to the 25 millimeter or 1 inches this is again the requirement for the concrete cover regarding the construction of the slab. You should always provide the concrete cover in order to protect the reinforcement from, from the corrosion. So in case of the slab, it should be equal to 25 mm or 1 inches. Now, the next is the minimum 12 diameter of the steel bars for main reinforcement and distribution bars. This means if I have my steel bars here, these are my steel bars for example placed inside the slab so the diameter of these steel bars in the main bars as well as the distribution bar should be at least 12 millimeter bar you should not place the diameter of the bar less than 12 millimeter in the main bar as well as in the distribution bars so the minimum diameter of these bars in the main as well as in the distribution should be equal to the 12 millimeter the next one is that the minimum concrete grade is 15 megapascal. It means M15 show M shows the mix here. 15 shows the grade of the concrete in the unit of megapascal. So it shows 15 megapascal. Or we can say M15. So the minimum grade of concrete used in the construction of the slab should be at least 15 megapascal. It should not be less than the 15 megapascal or 15 newton per square millimeter which is the same thing so this is the minimum concrete grade for the construction of the slab the next one is that the spacing between this main and distribution bars should not be more than the 8 inches center to center it means that the spacing of the bars here if i consider here the spacing so this spacing for example this is the spacing of the bars this should not be more than the 8 inches center to center. Similarly, again, in the case of the distribution bar, for example, if these are the distribution bar, so the spacing should be equal to the 8 inches center to center. It should not be more than the 8 inches center to center. This is another important rule in the construction of the slab that the distribution and main bars spacing should not be more than the 8 inches center to center. The next rule is the that there should be no lipping of the bars in mid of the slab for example if this is my slab here if i want to draw here slab so if this is my slab so i should not provide it's my slab so i should not provide the lipping of the bars and if these are the bars steel bars for example if I want to draw the steel bars here, so the lapping of the steel bar should not be done in the mid of the span. 
these are the lapping of bar we connect the one bar with another, with another bar in order to transfer the stresses so the lapping of this this is the lapping here of the bars so this should not be done in the middle of the spin this is wrong we should always do the lapping of the steel bars at the sides or at the ends of the slip for example at this portion of the slip or at this portion similarly here or here but we should not do the slip lapping of the bars in the mid portion of the beam because here we always have maximum bending moment maximum tensile stresses or maximum bending moment so for which we need to avoid the lapping of the bars in the mid section of the beam Hope you guys understand the different important rules for the construction of the slaves and don't forget to subscribe our channel for daily civil engineering videos. Thank you for watching our video.